In this video, uh, a pizzeria finds that the probability of a customer ordering the four cheese pizza is 0.09. One evening, there were 30 customers who ordered a pizza. Part A, suggest a suitable model to describe the number of customers ordering a four cheese pizza. Okay, so, uh, in this section we are looking at appropriate distributions. So, um, looking at whether uh, the distributions that we've looked at, the binomial distribution or the normal distribution, are appropriate. Now this one, um, we just need to look at what we've been given. We've been given a probability P, and we've been given a number of customers, 30. Okay. So the fact that you've been given an N and a P is screaming out it's a binomial distribution. Okay. Um, it also makes sense that um, you could model it using uh, a normal distribution, uh, a binomial distribution rather, um, because uh, either a customer ordered a four cheese pizza or they didn't. Okay. So you've got those two options. Um, the question of independence, um, whether uh, the probability of one person ordering a four cheese pizza is uh, independent of somebody else, uh, we'd have to assume that independence in order for the binomial to work. So we'd be looking at x being a binomial distribution with n as 30 and probability 0.09. Okay. Now, in the second part, explain why a normal approximation would not be appropriate. Well, you can look at the mean and variance of the normal distribution that you would get if you approximated it. So the mean would be 30 times 0.09. Okay, so 30 times 0.09 gets me 2.7. And the variance is 30 times 0.09 times 0.91, so n times p times 1 minus p, and that gets me 2.457. Both of these are less than that gold number 5. Um, the probability is uh, very small, it's not close to 0.5, and n is not particularly large. It's not large enough to bring these values up to something that's larger than 5. And so that is why uh, a normal approximation would not be appropriate in this case. Um, it wouldn't give you a very good approximation at all. So then find the probability of at least one customer ordering a four cheese pizza. Then we're going back to it being a binomial distribution. If I want at least one, that's greater than or equal to 1, which is the same as 1 take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 0, or just equaling 0. Okay. So, uh, going to distribution and binomial PD, uh, and then variable. Uh, if I want x to be 0, I want n to be 30, and probability 0 0.09, then this is 1 take away 0 0.05905, etc. And so that's 0 0.941 to 3 sig fig. OK, so there's a 94.1% chance uh, that at least one customer will order a four cheese pizza. OK, so that is how we can uh, work with a problem like this that is asking us questions about the distributions themselves.